So that's that. It's official. Your mom's house is officially over. And it's sad. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Catch you up to speed, basically your mom's house is an apartment I live in here in New York City with a bunch of other roommates. Um, it's been a wild ride. It's only been one year and so much has happened. It's crazy to think back when we first started how we really had no idea what we were signing up for, but I'd say it did not disappoint. It's very fun. <laughs> the snow is falling down. It's cold all day by day. This has to be the most fitting time to do this video. It's absolutely gloomy. Oy. So why are we ending? Our lease is coming to a close. Rent is also going up quite a bit. And collectively, we've all decided to go our separate ways. No one person is leaving your mom's house. Everyone is leaving. The house is done. To be less dramatic, this really isn't that big a deal. We're just moving on with our lives. We're so fortunate to be in our positions and we have so many things to be thankful for. Of course, it was hard to work with friends and live with them as well. I truly wish everyone nothing but the best. When we started this house, it was just just an idea I had in my room at my frat house and proposed it to my friend Elliot. And to see it blossom and touch the hearts of so many is something that I think we should all be super proud of. Above all, this has been a great learning experience for me. I slept, ate, breathed your mom's house and devoted my entire last year to the group. I've realized how much I value people that show up, people that support you in your success, and just people that can have a good time. It's definitely a happy, sad moment for all of us, for everyone who's been involved, Ashley, Elliot, Anne-Marie, Luke, Issa, you guys, I mean, the list goes on for the people that have impacted this house to make it such an iconic time. So if you're involved in our community, you probably know Elliot. I already talked about him in this video, but basically he posted a video announcing that he was leaving your mom's house. For starters, we're all, we're all leaving. It's the end of the lease. This is just my reaction to it. And I'm not trying to stain or shade him in any way. I'm just confused. For starters, he told me his video was gonna be lighthearted, not shade Ashley and I and just uh, not dramatic. That was obviously not the case. The original plan was to post a joint video with all three of us, Ashley, Elliot, and I on the Life of Luke and Kelly. Fuck, not Life of Luke and Kelly. <laughs> the And They Were Roommates YouTube channel. Got too many things happening in my brain. We were supposed to announce as a group. He went ahead and posted his before ours could come out and you know, he's a smart guy. He knows what he's doing. In complete honesty, I feel like in his video, his story sets up Ashley and I to be the problem. Whether or not he meant that to be I mean, he's a smart guy, I know. He knows what he's doing. I'm sure if you've seen any of the comments on those videos, they're pretty brutal attacking Ashley and I. I'll get to it, but honestly, it's pr it's pretty laughable if you guys knew the truth. Overall, I'm not like mad, I'm just honestly disappointed. I know that sounds like corny or whatever, but I I'm really, really disappointed in him. Myself, I can take the undeserving hate. I can, you know, whatever, move on. It's just happened with the Amory situation before and Ashley and I have both stayed silent, saving people's asses. And I just can't sit here again, taking these blows for others. So, you know, obviously I know what happened and I know those comments wouldn't exist if you guys knew exactly what happened. I really wish Elliot had shown the video to me or Ashley before, cause this is not just him. You know, it's obviously, it's a group matter. It's, it's all of us and his actions hurt everyone, affects everyone. Now I'm here talking about it. And you know, I don't want to talk about it. Like I just like making YouTube videos. I literally just want to have fun, make YouTube videos, hang out. That's literally like the only thing I wanna do. It's just that I know how unfair it is also to Ashley, especially. It's just in her character not to make a video like this and clap back. She's literally the nicest person on earth. Has been so good to Elliot, always getting him his favorite chips, planning every group event. She's gone up above and beyond to be a team player. So it's just a confusing, sad time for all of us. I really wish we could have just posted about remembering the good times, reminiscing on all the fun adventures we had. I could go on and on and I'm being so, 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 so polite right now. I am being so careful with my words and obviously I'm not gonna go into detail because obviously it's very hurtful for the people involved and I'll just keep it at that.
I felt like it was only right to be transparent with you guys and take you guys along. Today is officially the last day at your mom's house and uh, I thought we'd do what excites one last time here. I'm sick, God damn it! I don't want to move. I don't want to leave. I'm done. I'm so tired of this. I'm not leaving. I'm not fucking leaving. I don't want to pack. I don't want to pack this. I don't want to pack this. Why do I have this? Thanks, guys, for this. And for this. But I don't want to pack this. This? 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 This. Ooh, you want to pack me? No. Open your eyes. I don't want to pack that. This thing. I don't know what the fuck that is. My packing list only has two things. Eyeglasses and the beanie. Who the hell is this? Fuck you, Kelly. I'm sick, I'm delusional, and I have to move out tomorrow. I could have spent all day today packing, but instead I just sat there looking at it. Like, damn, I got a lot to do. So this was the last day. The movers came. It was all getting so real. All right, today's the day of the move. This is really it. Sad, man. Gonna miss the little fire escape. Sad to move on. So this is it, final day here at your mom's house. So many memories, so many things I will miss. Wow, what good memories. Colin Samir, I can't believe they did a video on us. They called us the most popular kids in New York. Honored. I left to the subway on a quest to get a leaf blower. Why, you may ask, well, You'll know soon enough. But it wasn't for something I wanted to do, that's for sure. You remember this? Simp! I am super simp! <laughs> <laughs> the real ones remember. And I had no more use for my mini Tesla anymore, so I decided to give it one last spin. Grace the streets of New York City one last time. You wanna try it? No, you got it, you got it. Come on, just lean forward. <laughs> oh no, no. And ultimately decided to give it away. You guys want it? You're gonna give us it? I'm giving it out. Yes. Oh Are you my serious? God. My channel is Mr. Beast. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, go so for it. Cool. The whole day had me soaking it all in. The crazy year we just had. I also wanted to do some tricks to honor the bottom stairs neighbors. And that was pretty much my day. Whoa! One chapter closes and a new one will open. I honestly can't even believe that I'm making a video announcing the end of your mom's house. I really never saw this as something that I would ever do. I guess I was maybe naive or just didn't think. I was just in the moment, but it is sad. I'm gonna miss it. There's honestly not that much to say about it. It's uh, the end of an era. I'm truly excited and thrilled for my next move. From the first day, to surprising the roommates with a trip to Aruba, to Ashley and I's first date, to pranking my roommates with snakes, to Taekwondo, to building a mini ramp in the apartment, to our Times Square billboard, and to so, so, so many more. I love your mom's house. I love all the memories I've made. It was just such an amazing experience. And I'm even more excited about the future. And genuinely, genuinely from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for the support you've shown me and my roommates and everyone involved with your mom's house. It's been incredible. And this is not the end. There's a lot more Do It Excites to do. And trust me, this is truly just the beginning. I don't really wanna call you back I don't really wanna call you back